What's up, everyone? Mark is coming back at you with a brand new video. Welcome back to the channel, and for all of you guys who are new, my name is Mark Sears, and I teach about dropshipping, Shopify, and business in general, helping you guys to build yourself the empire of your life. So today is going to be a full breakdown of the different ads for Facebook that you can make a full Facebook ads walkthrough breakdown. Gonna make you guys from a newbie to a pro throughout this video. So I'm gonna walk you through which types of ads worked the best in 2018, what's the different features and the different options that you can use in Facebook ads, walk you through it, gonna jump inside of my computer and show you so from totally beginner or you might have some experience with it to a pro through this video. Remember to watch it through, hit the subscribe button, give it a like and hit the notification bell if you got something useful out of it. Let's jump straight into it. So back inside of my computer right here, so somehow within those five minutes of recording the intro and this, I managed to spill coffee all over my t-shirt, so a bit more great this new t-shirt. Anyway, jumping straight into it, gonna walk you through Facebook ads, I'm gonna give you uh, sort of like a breakdown of bits and features and all the different things that you can do and which types of ads you can create. I'm gonna make you from a beginner to a pro in this video, so if you haven't already, Please hit the subscribe button, the like, and the notification bell if you got something useful out of it. If you will get something useful out of the video. Jumping straight into it. As you can see right here. First off, straight off the bat, this is the account overview. Just created a new ad account to walk you guys through it on this. So as you can see, account overview, this will be where you can see all your different ad spends. You can see sort of like some different graphs and everything, uh, which types of the world that you've spent most and everything a really great breakdown that you can make in here haven't made and spend any money on this ad account yet so that's why it will be empty jumping into the campaign just created a draft right here but as you can see you will have your create button right here have your ads account up there and then you have your different columns right here i have edited it it will be different it will maybe be like this performance this will be the default one and then you can sort of like customize them, customize columns, and this is what I like to use. So I have the results, reach, cost per results, budget, amount spent, unique link clicks, cost per website add to cart, website add to cart, oh, not payment info. That needs to be customized columns. That needs to be just add to cart. So cost per add to cart, and then add to cart, website add to cart, not that one. Um, web cost per ad website, uh, uh, like that. So, as you can see, cost per website, that's a card, that's a card. Website purchase, cost per purchase, uh, conversion value, ROAS, CPM, CPC, and CTR. So, that's what I use. That's sort of like the main ones. But as you can see, you have the create button. When you I press create, this will be the quick creation. There's two different ways you can do it. You can make the quick creation, which is the easiest one. The way I structure my ads is like I say, oh, one then the type of campaign is let's say we're going to make a traffic campaign which focuses on just sending traffic to your store or to your page then i will call it trf and then the specific product or type let's say like promoting a phone case then maybe marble case that's how i structure it and then the next campaign so i will just say control a and then you can choose the campaign objective and paste and paste but what i'm going to walk you through is the guided creation today so what is your marketing objective so what you need to ask yourself what is your end goal with your ad that you create is it to create sales is it to create traffic is it to create brand awareness reach do you want people to opt into your message platform all these different types of things as you can see right here but the ones that i'm focusing on and uses the most is the one called engagement which is people commenting liking and stuff like that on this specific ad that you make and then conversions which would be maybe view content or add to cart or purchases all the conversion events which happens on your store through your pixel that's the types of events that your facebook pixel tracks on your store so conversion is super powerful you can also let make catalog sales which is sort of like for dpa which is dynamic product 
ads, which is like for retargeting or stuff like that. So you upload a product feed, store visits. If you just, I think that's actually for real stores or maybe just to come onto your store, not really sure. Messages, if you want to people to message, there is like a message button. Lead generation, if you want people to opt into your lead thing. Video views, if you want video views, maybe if you want to be like an influencer on Facebook, video views is really powerful. Or if you want to be like a, one of these different fan pages or pages for promoting other people's stuff that's really powerful as well then app installs if you have an app of course engagement engagement on your post which is called page post engagement and then traffic traffic as you can see right here send more people to a destination or off Facebook such as a website reach if you just really want to have the highest reach for the lowest cost and then brand awareness what we're going to do now I often start start off with engagement for my specific stores to build up engagement and to build up likes and comments on the ads so it gives more social proof because other people likes it that will look better when you're running your ads as conversion so I always start off as with engagement but then you can sort of like choose if you want post engagement page likes or event responses I choose post engagement and then let's just call it 001 PPE because it's a page post engagement and then what I would do is let's say we're let's say we are marketing a marble case and then set up ad account Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, continue. Okay, yeah, 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 hadn't really set it up. Anyway, moving on, as you can see right here, we have your ad set name at the top. You can go ahead and change the name if you want to, as I did before in the quick creation. So we're just gonna do like this, marble case. So you're in here, this is the targeting, create new ad set. So this is the ad set for your ad. So this is your target audience inside of your ad set. That's where you choose which type of people you want the ad to be shown to. So you can see custom audiences. Custom audiences is something completely different. There will be another video of that. I will have a whole playlist of Facebook ads videos. There will be a link to the playlist in the description. Otherwise it will pop up in one of the corners somewhere in this video so definitely look out for that go ahead all the videos are free so definitely a lot of insane value right there moving on location so what I like to do here there's some different options you can say everyone in this location that will mean if we go ahead and choose the United States instead United States because I live in Denmark it's choose Denmark automatically but as you can see right here this is everyone in this location so let me give an example Right now, it's summer holiday around the world, in the Western countries mostly, of course. So, a lot of tourists are in Denmark. So, if I say everyone in this location, it will show the ad to everyone who's in Denmark right now. I don't want that. So, I, instead, I want people who live in this location, because that means every people who have an address in the United States, for this matter, that will be shown to them, even though they're on holiday or something like that. Instead, to all the tourists who are also in the United States. So it's a lot better to choose people who live in this location. Then you can choose your countries, so United States, or you can browse right here. As you can see, regions. You can, for example, choose the European Union, um, North American Free Trade Agreement, or something like that. The age, so it's all depending, of course, your age range. If it's just like a normal generic product, it's easier to have it higher conversion rate if it's above 21 because they have more money uh, to spare and that means that they are more easily able to buy your product on your store. Then language, um, if your site is in English, I always choose the English language and then just all because you want people to be able to talk the language that your store in, otherwise you're just wasting money to send people onto your store if they don't understand it or sending people wherever it is that you want them compared to the objective. Moving on, detail targeting. So this is the super, super powerful thing about Facebook. They have an insane amount of interest that you can target through Facebook. So this was an example of a marble iPhone case. So what I would start off with is choosing online shopping. So online shopping is great. As you can see, you can see the size over here, and then it gives you some suggestions based on what you're searching. So online shopping has one 
billion people in it and online shopping is based on people who have shown an interest in basically buying stuff online and of course if you have an e-commerce store you want to have show the ads people who are interested in buying things online so I'm gonna choose online shopping and then as you can see right here moving on you can then say exclude people if you have some people you don't want to show it to it or narrow down audience and this is super powerful as you can see right here this is the potential reads that's what I normally look for you can see the audience size with the specific slash bra but I never really focus on that I normally focus only on the potential reach then you can see the estimated daily results for that but the main thing I'm interested in is the potential reach in here because this can vary a lot it's really, really just an estimate from from Facebook but as you can see I would then say narrow down audience as you can see you have online shopping and must also match at least one of the following so you can stack interest so let's say we have online shopping and our iPhone cases we only have that in iPhone 7 and iPhone 8 so what you're able to do then we of course don't want to show our iPhone case to a Samsung owner so we can go ahead and say iPhone uh, let's say Facebook access, Facebook, uh, we can say Facebook access, and then we can say, let's see how it says, can we say iPhone like this? Yes. As you can see, we have Facebook access on a mobile device and then you can choose which type of mobile device we want to show it to. So let's say the case is available to iPhone 7, iPhone 8 and iPhone X. So we choose iPhone 8. So instead of writing all that again, Facebook has one of the most advanced algorithm tools and in insane tools that you can use and that's the suggestion buttons. Facebook will then show you suggestions based on the interest that you just chose. So as you can see right here of course it knows that we might also want to show it to people with iPhone 8 Plus. So you just press it and it will be added. An iPhone X, iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus. So as you can see right here they need to be interested in online shopping and one of the following things so either online shopping and they have an iPhone 8 either online shopping or to have an iPhone 8 plus because we stacked it right here then we have an audience size of 35 million people which is a lot so it's a marble case so maybe not p all people likes marble cases I did forget to say that the gender I would choose women for this because mobile cases is normally targeted women so as you can see we jumped down to 33 million I would then go ahead and set narrow further down so we have online shopping one more and then we're gonna it's called flex targeting when you flex target several interests so we choose another one I would then maybe then go ahead and say Marvel because it's a Marvel case that had 45 million people in as you can see if you just hover over it it will say 45 million people in size then we're down to 1.3 million people that's not really a lot so what I would do, I would then say suggestions and then it will show me other things. So people who are interested in marble and stuff like that is probably also interested in like granite and interior design and like something like that because it, it, a marble case has a bit finish and stuff like that. It's all about this. You really want to be great also at the psychological aspect of marketing. That's a huge part as well. But as you can see, I would then maybe choose something like that. As you can see, interior design is really huge, 247 million. So let's say a marble case is sort of like a fashion accessories because it's a case to a phone. Maybe like it's a marble case with it's a bit like blogger ish or something like that. I would then go ahead and flex target with brands. Brands correlated with something around it. So let's say it, it was a dog product, you could go ahead and say Pet Smart or something like that. But for this, I would go ahead and maybe use something like Sarah, like the retailer. I would flex target with that. As you can see, when we go ahead and flip and stack with several of these, we will have now 2.3 million people, which is going to be fine for a page post engagement ad. So as you can see, to break it down, we have online shopping and they must also have one of these phones, iPhone 7, iPhone 8 or iPhone X, because that's the only phones we have the case for on our e-commerce store. They need to be interested in marble, granite and interior design. And they also must like Forever 21 or H&M or Sarah. 
So as you can see, we turned out with a potential reach of 2.3 million people. Moving on, connections. Um, you don't really. You, I don't really use that too much. Uh, I don't actually think I've ever used it. You can go ahead and do that. So you can say it needs to be people who have liked your page or something like that. So you're really specific with the targeting. As you can see right here, we go ahead and say edit placement. Then you can choose all devices or desktop or mobile. Of course, you always, if it's an e-commerce store, you want to have your site optimized for mobile. That's one of the most important things because 80% of the traffic will be through mobile phones. But what I like to do is remove the desktop because I get best results, sorry, I get the best results on the mobile device. And as you can see right here, audience network, that's like native banners and in-stream videos and stuff like that. I'm going to turn that one off. I really want to show it on Instagram as well because a case is really shown on Instagram. When that's the psychological aspect of it as well. They're on their phone, they're scrolling on Instagram or on uh, Facebook and then they see a mobile case. They turn their phone around and their case is totally broken. They're like, hey, I need a new phone case. And then they jump on and buy it. It's really to sort of like see the psychological aspect of your ads as well and the connections of it. But yeah, I use the feed. Some, you can use stories as well. Stories are super powerful, but you can't do that. This objective, which is page post engagement, you can do it on conversions. But moving on, I don't want suggestions, videos, uh, it's really powerful, but I don't want it for this one. I new, normally just only use the feed and the Instagram feed. As you can see, we still have 2.3 million people. If we remove the Instagram, it probably goes down to 1.1 million people. That means that 1.2 million people are on Instagram and not on Facebook of our audience size. So that's super normal in the United States that a lot of people um, are on like Instagram and not Facebook sometimes actually I've experienced that all mobile devices and then moving down at the bottom that is going to be your daily budget normally I go ahead this is going to be in Danish crowns I don't know why I didn't set it in US dollars right before but so I will probably start off with on each ad set on six dollars that's what I normally do and that is around 45 krona so moving on we're gonna say continue and this is going to be where we're going to make our ad. So you can select the post or you can make a new one, create new page post. So you have some different options right here when we open it. You can go ahead and say photo video. You can upload a photo. You can create a photo carousel, create a slideshow or create a canvas. I will have a whole separate video about that. It's going to be in the playlist when it's going to be uploaded. There will be a whole video about the creation of Facebook ads and the different ways to do it and how you can do it with these different types of methods. Which one is the best one? My preferations and everything. Go ahead and watch it. It will be in the playlist. But yeah, so there's these different types of options that you can choose from or you can make a photo album. But otherwise you would just upload a photo, make your ad copy and then that will be your ad. So just to make an example of a normal page post, but I'm just going to find a photo really quickly. So I found a photo of a mobile case so you could sort of like see what I meant about it. So this will be a photo where you're making a photo ad, just a normal picture ad, or you can make a video ad as well. You can go ahead and make a slideshow as well. There will be a whole separate video about that. Definitely go ahead and check that out. It's free, completely free. It will be in the playlist. Link in the description down below. Otherwise, you can find it on the channel. But Moving on, so how I normally structure ads, it's also about the psychological aspect. If you're an e-commerce store, most of you will probably be who watches this. It's really about keeping it simple in 2018 and 2019. If you're watching this in 2019, it's going to be the same as well. Because too many people are trying to use too much urgency and too much scarcity on the story that's going to look fake. So it's all about the branding and the marketing approach and aspect of it. So what I normally like to do is something like, do you love marble too? So I like to start, oh, great spelling, Marcus. Do you love marble too? So I like to start off with a question and then like then you'll need our amazing three-toned marble case for 
um, don't write iPhone, you can't write brand names, but just like Marvel case, so like this. And then next, I would probably have something like, you can't be like or tag hundreds anymore, like, like, comment and share this, you can't do that anymore on your ad. So I would probably just have like, who, so a question again, who would love this? So I start each and every word with a capital letter. Uh, it's just some psychological things that it catches the eyes a lot better. And then next I would have get it here. And now we get to the interesting part because this is just normal text. And the reason why you also want to have beautiful pictures for your ads and everything super, super, super important is that pictures drives our interest. It starts our emotions and we recognize and sees pictures 13,000 times faster than we read text. So that's why it's so important. And that also goes in with what I'm going to tell you guys next is you want to use emojis so you can have a chrome extension as i have right here it's just like i don't know like emoji icons or something like that i know what it's called so that's super important to have on your ad as well because that catches the attention of the viewer of your ad when they're scrolling you want to catch their attention when they're scrolling through their feed super important so when you have a beautiful picture with some emojis and questions mark or something like that that will really catch their attention instantly and of course when it's a product that they might like due to our targeting they like marble they like iphone they have an iphone they see it, they recognize it, they can relate. It's all about the relating things. So, do you love Marble 2? Then I would probably put this one, really classic one. Then you'll love this one. Then I would probably put maybe a star or a heart. I like to do that. And all the heart. And then, great spelling again. Who would love this? And if you're not a native English speaker, I would recommend you guys to install the, the extension called Grammarly or if they have a complete separate site, I would normally copy this and put it inside of Grammarly and it will show me if there's any false because it needs to be 100% pure English and well written. I don't know if this is, haven't checked it. Sorry if some of you guys are triggered by some of my mistakes. Anyway, so who would love this? Then I would have a question mark right here. Boom, which is red as well. We're really having some really emotional um, colors right here, some aggressive colors. Red, red, red. Goes in with the grade with the photo as well and stuff like that. And then get it here or claim yours now or buy it now or something like that. Uh, buy it, right? Buy it here is also super powerful or get it here is really great. So what I would do, I would have two arrows pointing to the right like this. And then copy and paste, copy and paste. And what's really, 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 really important, I have lost a lot of money in this in the beginning, you need to have a space between your emoji and your link. So you can't put your link in there, you can put your link in right here after a space. So there needs, and then there would be like bit dot li slash blah 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 for example right so you need to have a space in between these two otherwise your link thinks that the emoji is a part of it and it can't open and you will just lose money and don't get any people on your side so super powerful you can have one link or you can have two links the arrow is a great marketing thing as well because it drives the eyes the way that it's pointing this is the ad copy really clean really simple engaging but not too tag like hunting and not too much much in your face with say 50% blah 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 so that was actually just a walkthrough of creating ads the different uh, features and things like that you can do inside of Facebook ads there will be a ton of videos I'm coming up with in the Facebook ads playlist it's free it's going to be in the description down below definitely go ahead and check the others out uh, insane value for you guys all free on the channel as well remember to go ahead and subscribe give it a like and hit the notification bell to be up to date whenever i upload i hope you guys got something useful out of it let me know in the comment sections down below which part of the video you like the most or which part of facebook ads let me know in the comment section down below which part of facebook ads you're struggling with is it choosing the uh, right objective is it getting sales what is it let me know and i will comment on all of the comments that i get in the comment section down below let me know it let me know it so and as always thank you so much for watching everyone please remember to hit the subscribe button and as always i hope you all have a successful and wonderful day bye